Hi everyone, welcome back to Bolt Action Bunker and in this video we're going to be starting the painting tutorials for the German Africa Corps. Welcome back everyone and in this video we're going to be doing the German Africa Corps. So this is a painting tutorial and this is going to be part one. So it's the base coating and the weathering. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, welcome back. Now then, to do the weathering on the two stugs, we're going to need some paints. So I'm just going to go through what paints you're going to need to do and follow along with me. Okay, so first of all, I use the Vallejo paint um, on most of my models. Um, I, the only one I don't use, I use Agwak Thurf Shade from Games Workshop. Um, I like it, I think it dries nice, it's just what I like. So if you've got a shade that you like, uh, you like working with, then, then use that. So the first colour we're going to use is Desert Yellow. Uh, Desert Yellow. And then uh, a Tan Yellow. So these are all pretty much the same. And then I've got a Highlight British Tank. And a Iraqi Sand. You don't have to have Iraqi sand, but I, I go over a little bit with the Iraqi sand and you'll see that in a little while. And last but not least, I use ivory white. I don't just use a plain white, I go with ivory. You're also going to need a, uh, a grey. So I've gone with uh, the Panzer Dark Grey because that's what I've got. And then you're going to need... Um, a silver or a rust if that's what you want. Um, I use an aluminium air. It's, 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 it's an absolutely lovely paint. It just really is fantastic for anything aluminium -y, silvery. It's just fantastic. I love it. So I use the aluminium one. It's very sparingly. You don't need a lot of it on this. So they're the paints that we're going to use. So let's have a quick look at the two stugs and then uh, I'll explain what's next. In my last video, I've got two Stug tanks. Uh, they're two different variants. This is, I believe, a Stug 3 F variant, and that one is a, a D. So I've primed these, undercoated them, base coated them, and also then I've gone over, airbrushed over the top of them with desert yellow. Okay, so that's my first colour, that's my starting colour. So desert yellow that's what we've gone with first of all so now they're just two desert yellow plain tanks and now I'm going to all I'm going to do now is wash these vehicles with my Agrac Thur shade okay okay so with the Agrac Thur shade um, I always like putting plenty on um, this is purely a preference kind of style what, what you like what you don't like you might not like a heavy wash on your vehicles but I do so that's what I'm going to go with just basically get this all over the vehicle fill up all the gaps all the way around it's gonna look grubby it's gonna look really dirty and messed up at this stage um, try and try and sort out some of the pooling as you go you don't want too much on there and like I say, you know, once we get all this weathering on here, that's when you're going to see how effective it all is. So, let's just get all this on. As you can see there, it looks absolutely gunked in it. But, that's what I like. There we go. So I'll get the rest of this done and show you when it's dry. See, that's one done. So as you can see, I've absolutely hit everything with this Agrac shade. And it does look a little bit messy. It does look a little bit dark and grubby. But if there's one thing I've learned from doing models, um, with bolt action and 40k if you want stuff to stand out on your tabletop you've got to have that little bit of pop on your on your figures you can't just have 
dull, plain, all the same colour figure, because that's what, in, in theory, that's what they would all be. They would just be a dark green, and you know, or, or, or a beige, or, or a brown, or a tan. You would have nothing variant on them at all. Um, but if you want them looking really good on the tabletop, you need to have a bit of contrast. So that's what I like. So I've done that one. Now I'm just going to do exactly the same to this one. Okay, so they're the two stugs with the uh, wash on them now so I'm gonna let them dry and then uh, a little bit later on I come back and we'll uh, start doing some of the highlights on them so keep watching and I'll see you in a bit okay so now we've completely washed our vehicle um, if it's all dry we can start putting on layers of the highlights so um, the first one I'm going to use is the base color again which is uh, desert yellow so I put a little bit of desert yellow on here and this is where you want uh, some blister pack so some bit of foam just here, um, rough the edge up a little bit so we can use it and I'm going to use this like a paintbrush to put on to the vehicle. We'll start off with the darkest one first so this is going to be the desert yellow. We we'll just put it in, put it on the paint and then we're going to go around our vehicle just splodging it on on corners, edges it doesn't matter if it goes on the gear we're going to be filling all that in later on As you can see it's quite bright but that's fine taking away some of that dirt and grime that the wash was on picking up all the edges all the way around the tank now you can put on as much or as little as you like of this uh, sometimes it seems like you know you're going over the top with it but you're probably not by the time the rest of the highlights go on as well there we go so I'm just going to finish these up show you the results in a bit. Okay so I've now put on the, the desert yellow all around the edges, picked up all the highlights, all the edges around the sides, I've gone on the wheels as well right the way around, both vehicles. I hope that comes out okay you can see that and now I'm going to move on uh, to the next colour which is going to be 
the tan yellow. Okay, so now it's going to be the tan yellow. Exactly the same. Little bit of blister pack just here. Dab it on, and we're going to go around again. Pick up some of the highlights on the edge of the tank. And now you can really start to see those edges popping out on the vehicle. You know, it's not an exact science. You might do a little bit, not like it. You might do loads and it's just, you know, it just comes, it just really just comes along and gets better. And like I say, now it starts getting quick because we're not filling in so much. Just picking up those highlights. On the tracks. There we go. That's that one. Now I'm going to do the next one and uh, we'll move on. So the next colour we're going to do is highlight British tank. Uh, exactly the same again. Little bits to pack, cut it down, dip it in. Get your vehicle. And now just go around the edge again. should just be on the extreme edges now unless you want a really worn patch see I've got down the middle of the tank here I'll put a little bit more in there um, and then just go round I've done it a little bit there I think but uh, we'll be fine It does feel like you're just going round and round on the same spot, but you can really see it coming up now. Really does look good. Do the track wheels as well. There we go. And uh, I'm going to finish that and I'll show you. Okay, next colour, Iraqi sand. So uh, let's try that one again. Blister pack, dab it in. And remember we want to go sparingly now because this is quite a high, quite a highlight on here. Go around, bring up those edges, around the track, and the front. Okay. That's looking nice. And that one. Do the next one and I'll show you the result. Okay, so now we've got those colours on. With the edges being really built up in different colours. And just put the last colour on now, which I'm going to use ivory. And let's just build that one up. Exactly the same. 
Okay, picking up those edges. Picking up the edges. This is quite bright, so it's just gentle colours, gentle on. Get those edges on. where it's going to be sort of worn the most and this is where it's coming together now you can really see it see that okay what I'll do I'll put some stills on as well so you can see these a bit better Okay, I'm going to go around these a little bit more, finish them off, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so the white's on, really picks up those edges on this tank now. So now we've done the white, or the ivory, I'm going to use the uh, grey. Um, exactly the same again, except now the grey is just going to be the really, the bits of metal that all the paint has come off of. So we're just going to go lightly on on that one around the edges and just pick that up and I hope you can see the pictures they come at it you know it looks really good I'm really pleased with it so far so let's put the grey on with the grey we're going to go just on these edges a couple of the bits that are sticking up just around the tank You know, just go slow, build it up. Where we've where we've put that ivory, the grey is going to go on there and show up the most. Really make it look like that it's came gone right back to the metal. looking really good and I think I'm going to leave that one let's move on to this one and again just go around touch those edges 
where we put the white. It really is just going to take that back to the metal. Got a little bit heavy there, but I think it still looks looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to take a few close-up pictures of those. I'll post those as well with the with the uh, video clip, and um, that's how I do my weathering for the Deutsche Affe Corps or the. Uh, you know, African can. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. That's going to be part one of the weathering of the vehicles. So this is going to be the German African course series. It could be two or three videos. So we'll see how it ends up. I hope you enjoy that. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks. <laughs>